As always, it is so great to have you here and I hope you're staying safe and healthy out there, but most importantly, that you're feeling fabulous at the same time. Anyways, today we're making what I consider to be one of the best tasting dishes I've ever had. We're talking smoky Spanish beans with eggs. This dish is basically butter beans that you simmer with vegetables and spices and then you top it off with an egg to take things to the next level. We're talking very easy to make, simple ingredients, and the kind of dish that's perfect for any meal of the day. All right, let's begin by getting our ingredients ready. I'm gonna finely chop one small onion, roughly chop four cloves of garlic, and finely chop one green bell pepper. You can also use a red one here if you like. And we'll also drain a jar of butter beans into a fine sieve and rinse them under some cold running water. The size of the jar I'm using is 570 grams, which is about 20 ounces. For the next step, I'm gonna heat a large fry pan with a medium heat and add in two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil, which is 30 milliliters. After a couple minutes, we'll add in the chopped vegetables and we'll mix them around. That way they're all coated in the olive oil. And as you know, I always like to mix the veggies around continuously. That way they all evenly saute. After about four to five minutes and the vegetables are lightly sauteed, I'm gonna add in half a teaspoon of sweet smoked Spanish paprika, which is 1.25 grams. Half a teaspoon of hot smoked Spanish paprika, which once again is 1.25 grams. And half a teaspoon of ground cumin, which is about one gram. And we'll give it a quick mix. That way all the spices are evenly coating the vegetables. As always, the Spanish paprikas I'm using are from Kiva. Link where you can get some in the description box below. And if you buy it from that link, you'll also get 25% off your order. Then we'll add in a 14 and a half ounce can of diced tomatoes, which is 410 grams. The drained butter beans. and we'll season everything with sea salt and freshly cracked black pepper. If you see that your canned diced tomatoes are a bit acidic, you just add in a pinch of white sugar in there or even a little baking soda. And we'll give it a gentle mix until everything's well mixed together. And we're gonna simmer the beans on a medium heat for about 10 minutes, that way all the flavors can develop. In the meantime, let's start cooking up our eggs. I'm gonna heat a separate fry pan with a medium heat and add in a quarter cup of extra virgin olive oil, which is 60 milliliters. In the meantime, I'm gonna crack four eggs, each one into individual bowls. As you know, I always like to take this step when I'm frying eggs, as it ensures that no eggshells go into the pan and that the yolks are not broken. Once the oil is nice and hot, but as you can see it's not smoking, we'll start frying up our eggs. You can fry them in any style you like here. I'm gonna cook them the Spanish way, which is a light crispy texture underneath with a beautiful creamy yolk. The secret is let the eggs sit there in that olive oil for one to two minutes or until they develop a light crusty texture underneath. Then we'll splash some of the hot olive oil over the eggs. And you only wanna do this for a few seconds, otherwise you can easily overcook the yolk. and we'll cook the next batch of eggs in the exact same method. Once all the eggs are fried up, make sure to season them with a kiss of sea salt and freshly cracked black pepper. All right, let's move back to the beans. As we have finished frying up our eggs, They've been simmering for 10 to 12 minutes and they are ready to go. At this point, I'm gonna remove the pan from the heat Transfer some of the beans into a serving dish.
and we'll top it off with one of the fried eggs and some chopped fresh parsley. Check it out, smoky Spanish beans with eggs. This is known in Spain as alubias con tomate y huevos fritos. Easy to make, such a gorgeous presentation and the kind of food that's gonna fill your body with so much goodness. Let's give it a try and see how it turned out. Seriously, look how beautiful this dish turned out. This I cannot wait to try. Big boy bite, here we go. Wow. <laughs> like I said at the beginning, one of my favorite dishes ever. The combination of those smoky beans with the fried eggs, an out of this world experience, and also the combination of the paprikas with the cumin, a beautiful death of goodness. Once again, the perfect dish for any meal and always serve an extra crunchy baguette for the ultimate Spanish dining experience. Really quick before I go, a shout out to a couple of my patrons, Ellen M. Hirschman, Nancy T., David Anthony, Jean, and Maybeth Robles. And guys, thank you so much for being patrons of Spain on a Fork. You know how much I appreciate you. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that like button. Uh, leave me a comment below, and if you're not subscribed, don't forget to smash that subscribe button and click on the bell icon. That we can get notified every time I release new content and to become a part of the Spain on a Fork family. Till the next time, hasta luego.